I mean, you're probably glad to get out of that one. Definitely, you know, I think um, when we seen the draw, we seen like we obviously had unions and we knew going down to the bridge against St Michael's was going to be the was going to be a tough one. Like, and you know, the unions one would have jumped out from people looking in, but we knew ourselves coming down here was going to be a it was going to be a tough affair. And we woke up in the morning and we seen the conditions so it was just doubly so. So um, pressure was on there, um, especially coming in there at the end of the first half. But you know, thankfully we, we pulled through. How difficult was it out there, even? I was extremely difficult. You know, I think um, I was taking a few free kicks <laughs> and I looked uh, I looked dodgy enough from the ball. But just the fact that it was so hard to even kick the ball, so hard to solo, bounce the ball, and you know, just the basic skills where you needed that wee bit extra con- concentration. So. Uh, it was a battle, and you know, St Michael's battled hard, and we battled hard, and at this same year in them kind of conditions, that's what it's all about. And I'm sure down the years, St Michael's have won many a game here when they were only three points out at half time, and that would have been the back of your minds, I suppose, at the break. Ah, uh, listen, we, we knew, we knew ourselves. We we come from Mary Allen, and you know, the bridges are fairly similar. There's always a breeze go, and we knew how to play it, and. Sometimes for us, it works better for when we're against the breeze because the type of player we have and the, the way we can run it and you know hold, hold possession and uh, we knew that if we got our game right, we would be we'd be able to put in a good shift and you know we know how to play it as good as St Michael's do. I suppose you did play well in the second half and that goal that uh, Gary McFadden scored with Leisha, you know, making a break. That was nearly the perfect way to play into the wind. Yeah, and, and that's that's what we were trying to do. You know, I think we're we're not where we want to be at the minute. We're just getting up through the gears. That was the that was the plan through the, throughout the year. You know, just take over in the league, and once you get the championship, you kind of move up. And you know, Unions we started slowly. St Michael's we started slowly. So we, we we're like we're running out of time now to find to find them a few gears. So uh, hopefully we can. Uh, we can get we can get to the level that's required. So you have three out of four now in our draw to come. You're in a decent enough position. You'd be probably happy enough with that. Uh, we're we're ha- we're happy enough. You know, you have to realise that St Michael's and Unions are in the top the top half of the teams in, in the county. So two tough games. Hopefully you go down there to Ra. You know they're a championship side. They'll be tough enough themselves. So you go down and we'll be looking at top to grip. So that's that's the plan. We'll see how they get on. Gardera and Unions get on tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll hopefully get up to the the pace of things in Gardera. And just to finish, is coming top of the group. It's become probably more important in recent years. I th- I think it is because that means you know what the what the draw the second place team that you can you can time it right for the for the semi semi final and you know if the, if the draw is good to you in the quarter final you know. It just gives you a wee bit of extra time, so it's important that that uh, it's it's a it's a benefit. It's an advantage to a team to finish to finish first. So at the end of the day, if we finish second, we'll just suck it up and get on with it. But we'd rather be finishing first.